What is going on everyone doing another draft here on MTG Arena? If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. All right, we've got a Voldaren Thrill Seeker, a Marshall Rayev Preening Champion Deadly Derision. The Thrill Seeker here is pretty good. Um, but just depends if we want to go red or not. Rayev might wheel. Not a lot of people play white red, so I think I'll take this. There is a Deadly Derision and Preening Champion. I think blue and black are some of the strongest colors in the format, but we'll see how it goes here. Um, okay, Tangled Skyline is a really good card. Gaining life and 5-5 five five Phyrexian Reach is really strong. Otherwise, we could go into black. Black-red sacrifice is kind of fun. Um, just all depends. I think the Skyline is just a stronger card than any of these, so we'll take that. Green is always pretty good. There's a Converter Beast and stuff. Might come back around. I think we just want to take the strongest cards at the start here and see what we get past. Okay, we get a Render Inert here. I do like this card, especially in a red-black sacrifice if you get some good invasions as well. Not much else in the pack. Agar's okay. Revelation's pretty good. Great sword cleansing, but we'll take the Render Inert. I kind of feel like red-black is going to be open. It was last draft, so we'll see how it is this time. Wow, another Skyline or a Burgeoning, so maybe we go... Well, we could go three colors, especially if we get Burgeonings, but if we go another Skyline here, I mean... Gain 5, another Incubate 5 is still pretty strong. Kind of leaning towards this, but hopefully we get more Burgeonings. Okay, we get a Tracker and a Gift of Completion, which is pretty nice, so... Um, I think I like this better. This does combo with the... Erexians and stuff, or I guess just synergizes with it. There is a tracker, but hopefully we get a tracker later. Looks like we might just be splashing red here now. Uh, kind of a weak pack, but <clears throat> unsealed and Acropolis is always good. This invasion is kind of garbage. I'm not a huge fan. Five mana, and it just puts a counter on and then fights something, and then six counters to flip it is pretty bad, and then four mana to make, or it turns into this 4-4 four, four thing. That's not great, but... Anyways, I'm happy taking the unseal here. So it looks like we're maybe going black, green, splashing red now. So going Jund. I think I still want to play the Thrill Seeker, especially for just one red. It's not bad. Um, but we'll see what else we get past here along the way. So now we got a land here, which we could definitely take. Racer, I played this last time, but eh, I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay, but not great. And a shade here as well, but I think we just want the land. I don't mind passing up the shade. We don't have a ton of, like, sacrifice stuff. Invasion's tempting. Um, Timberland Ancient's also pretty good. Could take the Gorilla. We've already got three. I guess Render and Art we're not necessarily playing. Um, take the Ancient. I think it's pretty good. Especially if we got some ramp. If we got some of the trackers and... Lighted burgeoning, we can get this out on like turn. Well, if we get the tracker and burgeoning, we could get it out on turn four. Otherwise, definitely a turn five very easily. So, this is just nice. Reach is always good, and so is trample. And uh, land cyclers are always good too. Okay, not anything too exciting here. I guess probably the Red ship is the best. Shade's okay. At the beginning of your end step, though, it's not both. Actually, it's not both um, at the end of all turns. I guess dread ship isn't as good for us because we are um, kind of just splashing red right now. Uh, okay, lots of good stuff here. Gargantuan's definitely playable. Unseal, Vanquish the Weak. Probably one of the worst removal spells in black, but is okay but i think the converter beast here is good um incubate five is pretty strong an o1 is always nice to just chump block if you have any way to flicker it you get some good value and it is a four drop we have no other four drops right now so good to fill out our curve there um actually this land is nice this beast is not bad as well um but 
This land is just too good to pass up. Don't really care for the greatsword or the other card there. Um, especially in our deck. Greatsword's good in Convoke, but I think the Gorilla here. Yeah, Searing Barb is pretty garbage, but I guess we'll take it over the blue cards because I highly doubt we're going in the blue, although the squadron probably was just a bad card. Ooh, okay, well, we open up a Nomnath. Another preening champion. I hate passing these because they're just so good, but when you're not playing blue, it's not the best. Grove Knight, there is an Omnath. We're already going... Well, we need blue and white, so we definitely need a lot of fixing. Um, so I don't know. Maybe this will wheel. People might not take it. I just take another gift of completion. It's not bad. Invasion's okay. Yeah, we'll take another gift here. Wow. Okay, someone passed an invasion of Fiora. So this is a board wipe. And you can choose legendary or non-legendary. So if you've got legendaries on your side, it could be kind of a one-sided board wipe a bit. Um, but yeah, just never really pass up board wipes. Um, not too much else in this pack. We definitely need two drops and some removal. So hopefully we find some volcanic spites or some final flourishes. This invasion's not bad. We could definitely go it. Uh, the herb rest here, it's not bad. I guess giving all your stuff haste is pretty nice, but it's double red. I don't know we're really in the red business right now. Even the red ship is questionable. Probably like AR is just better here. This invasion is definitely tempting but i think ir is better all right wow we are hitting like no two drops there's shadow of the source but i don't even really like that i think probably the rat here is the best serpent blades okay we've got a lot of three drops already some red creatures here but maybe we're not even going to be playing the thrill seeker See, now we could take Beat Stick, which helps with um, fixing and creating treasures, but then we're going to have to go into Heavy Bread. Which I'm not sure I want to do at this point. There is a Host Charger. We could take that. Moloch here might actually just be the best card. At least for us right now. So uh, the deck is looking a little bit awkward. We've got very little removal. Um... I guess we do have a board wipe, so that is a positive. Um, and no two drops, so we need two drop stuff and some more removal, and then I'll be feeling a little bit happier. Maybe even a couple of um, a couple more battles potentially. I do like the render inert; it just takes out a pretty much any battle. Wow, invasion of Monquette gets passed around. Uh, this final flourish is really what we want, though, so we're really happy to see this. As far as we haven't seen more, like, Thespian 2-drops and stuff. Uh, this invasion going around is kind of weird. This is really good, but I think the final flourish, very happy with that. We need removal. Um, and this pretty much kills anything with Kicker. S minus 6, minus 6. We'll take down most things. Um, okay, Vanquish the Weak here. I don't know if we want that, actually. Um, kind of want just the agent here. Trades off with anything, and you can flip it and get some value. I know we do need removal, but we also need two drops. I think that's the pick for now. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're just in red for the Thrill Seeker, which is very, very awkward, especially we have no fixing here other than dual lands, which I guess is fine. I guess at this point we could be playing some other stuff, like this Slasher, it's not great, but I don't think we'll play two Unsealed and Acropolis, so. Um, even this, this two drop might be okay. I guess we have the Invasion here with Render Inert. I don't love it, but I think in our circumstance it's okay. Red two drops, I don't like that. The Scald is okay. I guess we take that over the Vampire there. Praxis Fall is actually 
surprisingly versatile, so we might even main deck it. Um, Shadow of Source sucks because we don't really have red creatures to convoke it with, so we still need red mana, but I think we take it over Vengeant Earth. Don't really want to play that. Uh, Sea to Hope, I guess we could play that. Like I said, I don't think we're playing two ne Conceal and Acropolis. I guess another land here is okay. Combat Trick is okay as well, but... Oh boy. Okay, Stoke the Flames. Although we're not very much in red. Really just not much of anything in here. Green, black, red, really nothing. Uh, Knight Errant, really nice, but we're not in white. I guess we take Stoke the Flames and we're going a very awkward three color now. Yuri's there. Inverter Beast may get passed around. Okay, Pylon and Deadly Diversion, so that's really nice. Wow, and a Kami. Um, fortunately, we don't have a lot of counters to put on the Kami, so it's not that great in our deck. Uh, the Pylon here, I think, is almost worse than the Deadly Diversion. I guess it's one block and you can convoke it. You survey too, but the treasure is almost better. Um, but I think we take the Pylon. Another gift here. They want this Kami, even though we don't have a lot of counters to put on it, but that's fine. Another Moloch here, or probably just want Finn. It's going to trade off. If we do get any Cosmic Hungers, it'll just kill anything because it's got Death Touch. Yeah, kind of weak packs coming around here. I don't love it. Okay, a Volcanic Spite. At least that's a little bit of removal. We're going into heavy three colors now anyways. We've got decent dual lands here, so at least that's okay. I'd like to see a Blighted Burgeoning or a track. We've only seen like one of each. Um, Another land here. We could play four. Kavu, Renata... A gorilla or battle fan. I think we just take another land here, as sad as it is. Okay, converter beast or another agent. I think I like agent over Finn, even though this is a little bit stronger. Corruption here, Timurit is not bad. Double black though is a little bit tough. Could take another Phyrexian beast. I guess this may be better than the slasher. But I think we just want two drops, so. Wow, late Halo Forger. Okay, we finally got a tracker, Vanquish the Weak. So we got, what, one Final Flourish, Volcanic Spite, Pylon. I guess the Invasion and Invasion. So, okay, we might be okay for removal. And we've got a Shadow Source too, so I think we'll take this over the Vanquish the Weak. Okay, another Converted Beast, Thespian Informant. Okay, so we got a lot of two drops now, which is nice. Probably actually cut Finn, maybe cut C to Hope. Maybe cut the Atraxis Fall now. Um, what do we want? Maybe another beast or thespian's actually pretty good. Trades off a lot. Yuri did go around. I'm not sure if we want to play it now. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent. Um, we don't really have much sacrifice in our deck, I don't think. I guess we've got a Yara. And that's about it. So, I think the battle fan here, I don't think we'll play it, but... And another gift coming around. I think we we got two. I don't think we need three. Uh, this pack really sucks. I guess we'll take the gift. I don't think we'll play it. Two is enough. Um, scrounger. I guess maybe. Well, but maybe not. Another gorilla. I don't think we'll play two. Flasher. So. All right, well, the deck is looking okay, actually. I could be pleasantly surprised with how good it does. I could be maybe not pleasantly surprised, but we got some decent cards. We got a board weight, we got removal, we got quality creatures, so... The only thing is we're pretty heavy three colors, which kind of sucks. 14 creatures. 
split it up. How do we want to do this? I might even cut one gift to completion. Bulk the Flames kind of sucks too. It's double red. Very little fixing. What do we have for render in art? We've just got two invasions, so we could cut out the render in art and this invasion. Because otherwise we just got the invasion of Fiora. I think that's probably correct. Cut out one gift of completion. What do we have for creatures now? 14. These count as creatures though, pretty much. We'd cut out one of these. Or maybe Shire the Source. Oh, what are the removal? We've got one, two, three, four. So yeah, maybe let's cut out this. It was 17, I think. All right, let's try this. See how it goes. All right, we are on the draw. Pretty good hand here. Tracker, early game removal. And um, fire here brings something back, so... Yeah, not bad. Pretty good starting hand. We got a tracker, or agent now, too, so... our invasion as well. That's interesting. Playing Boros Red White here. Okay, that is awesome. We can fill it with Volcanic Spite. Um, do we pitch back this land? Why not? I guess we need a land for invasion, but kind of far off from that anyways, and we're kind of leading the aggressive charge here anyways, so... See what he does here. If he doesn't have a good blocker for the 3 3 here now. Just one red. I don't think I can kill this, so. I think we go for it here now. Hard. Might as well add a counter to this because we're not going to block it anyways. We can also hold up. We could play the skyline and not transform our um, creature. We'll see if he wants to trade off here. this down here. Hopefully he doesn't have a way to pump this up. He could have a backup and then end up getting this, but whatever. Anthem effect is annoying, but also spending a lot of time trying to get this. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna, gonna flip it here, but that's fine. I mean, 5-5 five, five still basically takes down all of his creatures, so...
do have the invasion here too. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that land. But We'll just pass here. If he plays out another big creature and we draw another land, I might just play the invasion. Uh, yeah. That would count as a big creature. Oh, that's annoying. He's killing our tracker now. Oh, we're not doing too bad. We are holding off here. Wow, where's my lance? I guess we can keep a Yara because we don't... With the invasion, we could just flip to non-legendaries, so... But we need lands here. Eh, whatever. We'll keep it. Hopefully we can find some lands with Thespian. Hopefully he doesn't have anything to kill this. I guess we got the gorilla to block too. We just need to survive a few turns here. Get some lands, drop the invasion, hopefully all that game. Oh god. Hey, not the worst. Yeah, that's fine. You can't actually no oh, uh and now I can't kill it with the five five. I think we got to 10 here, which really sucks. Where is my land? Save me, Fiora.
Guess we can get the gorilla down and double block next turn. Doesn't have the skulls here though, which is a bit annoying. Artifact or a creature. Next turn we can invasion. Okay. Gonna be scrounging a lot here. Hopefully he just gets creatures, gets more down, will invasion. Kill all non-legendary creatures. And we can bring back. The Thespian, I guess, maybe the next turn. Get a survey, might be the best card. He's got a creature. Destroy all nine legendary creatures. Alright, so you just conceded while we were going, so I guess I was taking too long, but yeah, invasion. Board wipes win your games. Alright, next match here, Likes Oh My God Barbecue we're playing. That is a funny name. He's got the Infinity Lands here. Alright, the rat will be a good blocker for this, hopefully. Playing the invasion, ditched it out of his hand pretty quick, so. Okay, happy to trade that off. I guess he wants the survey. Does not want the ancient? Okay. Alright, we are getting land screwed here, but still have some plays. Okay, I'm gonna be getting hit here for. Three, possibly five.
Well, sad news is our creature died. Good news is we get a survey. Which I guess we want the swamp. Out. See if he might just transform this. Okay. That is likely game. Oh, got land screwed there, so not much we could do. Okay, opponent goes first. I guess he's an okay hand. Poke Flames kind of sucks double red, but. Right, opponent plays a forest. Follow up with a top land. Rot. Oh, that's annoying. Or, or battle survey one. I think we're gonna chump here. On the off chance we draw a mountain, we can play with the thrill seeker. We didn't get a mountain, but at least we got another blocker. This Wayfinder is very annoying. Okay. Maybe play a tracker. It's kind of playing flipping that, but I don't know if there's any value to doing that. And if he's got a temporal cleansing or something, then we just get screwed anyways. At least the opponent is unable to play the Kranos, so that's good. Oh, what do we do here? I guess him flipping this is not the worst. If we pile on and kill his Wayfinder. Otherwise, our option is just play the Skyline. Put a counter on the Invasion and hope he doesn't flip it. We'll take our chances here. I guess the survey here is not worst either. Okay, mountain is nice. Four, six. All right, let's get this out. Flip 
put this. Question is, do we kill the tracker? I think we have to, otherwise he gets a little Kranos out. I guess we could use Stoke the Flames plus Thrill Seeker. Maybe I should have put it on the tracker and killed his tracker. Ah. Any play mistakes here? Alright, we'll do that. Hopefully I don't get punished for my play mistakes. Playing the tracker. blocker there. I think that's pretty much the game. Now he has to block there. If he doesn't block there, taking three, draw a card. So unfortunate. Opponent had too many battles there and not enough creatures and couldn't play full Kranos there, so we got lucky there. I guess we had the pile on. Did we have the pile in that game early on? Can't remember. I think we had removal to kill it if he was going to flip on. Oh, now the play was, I probably should have um, used the Thrill Seeker to pump up the 
tracker and then use the tracker to kill um, his tracker and then I would have always had Stoke the Flames plus the Thrill Seeker to kill his pool of Kranos if he ever got the mana to flip it so I think that would have been the safer play I think I messed up there but we ended up getting the win okay opponent goes first we'll go ahead and keep Go ahead and get the gift out. Probably just transform it next turn. Did he have some invasions that. I guess he can't flip anything for three. We'll start the race game. Oh my god, we got a survey as well. Tracker's doable. We can get that and the agent out next turn. Just pass his turn. Very suspicious. that um on my main phase i guess like doesn't leave us open for any tricks or anything here but could have killed the tracker with something in response and then we wouldn't have been able to get this out so i feel like it was just safer to go ahead and do it he's definitely got something i don't know five minutes he's gotta have something stalling too so there he's just got some random instant that he doesn't want to play He's manually tapping mana here, so what does that mean? Okay. Shoot that down. Five. I guess we didn't really need that land. Maybe that was kind of stupid. Well, I made a mistake. I should have killed it off there. Oh, 
Oh wow, I'm so bad. I should have killed it with the thrill seeker. I don't know what I was thinking. And he would have had to have block. I'm at 27 anyway, so I guess it doesn't even matter, but... Just so bad. Give him a chance now here. Oh, he should have been dead. Well, pretty close to it. Sure. Take five. Okay, well, that is definitely getting him into the game here. Oh, if I lose this one, it's my own silly play mistake. Getting a little tired here. We'll be paying attention. But we got a death touch. Hopefully, we can trade off with one here. Oh, he's gonna get that Githerix here. Oh man, I should have won this game. I'm gonna lose now. Going to lose. Sacrifice another creature or artifact, deals X damage to target opponent or battle, and you gain X life. Permanence mana value. And we just burn him out here.
see if he knows what we're trying to do. Um, do we even want to block here? He can play one. And exile that. Two, so he'll have three blockers. If I swing one. Two. I think we just win here, though. We unseal the converter beast and sack that next turn. works as well. Oh my goodness. Well, one silly play mistake there. I didn't use the Bloodseeker to kill his Converter Beast, which would have forced him to block either the 7-7 seven, seven or the 1-1. One, one. And uh, he was at, what, like 13 or something at that turn? And then, yeah, so. Oh my goodness. Small mistakes could cost us real big, but luckily we're able to hold out there. I didn't realize my, realize my life total was so big at the time and then could have just drained them out with AR there. So worked out well, but yeah, got to always take your time. See what the plays are. Opponent goes first here. We'll probably go ahead and keep. We've got Teardrop and Moloch. Hopefully he's playing black or blue. Maybe blue. Black. Yeah, you don't see too much white black, so. And that's really annoying, but. Got something. If he takes AR, that's fine. We don't even have black mana for it. Honestly, the Thespian's probably the most annoying play. Okay, I don't even mind that because we don't we even need a land. I don't think we need a land at this point. mind trading the sand stalker for the agent he wants to just flip this he knows i have it though so i'd be very surprised if that's what he does I think I'm gonna just do it anyways, we can get in for attacks here. I 
equipped on a menace here. We've got unsealed, so we can get back both of those. Okay. Probably not going to attack in now. Don't really want to trade off. They could just double block with the familiar and tiller there, so I don't really want to trade that off. That's fine. I'll see if he wants to trade this off. No, I'll trade off on the shade. It does not. I don't mind racing. We've got gain life. Now we're going to have a 5-5 five, five next turn. Would have been nice if we hit a land. We could have unsealed, grab back the Sandstalker. Okay, he's cycling, so that's a little bit scary. Needs, needs a second swamp here. These are pretty cool sleeves. Elspeth just killing crap. Alright, yeah, I don't mind uh, swinging out here if he wants to double block here. Probably trade off on the shade, I don't know. Maybe the tiller. Tiller's actually probably more annoying. Might even have something here that gets uh incubate off it. That's fine. Double blocks here. Kill the tiller. I'm not gonna play with the gorilla in case he's got like an invasion or something here. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. I think we just want to try and keep the pressure on here. Oh, well, I don't think you can really attack in very well here. And with that, he's getting too much land and he can't cast anything, so that's a thing. It's not an ability, so probably would have been worthwhile to hold that up. Go ahead and get a tracker down and a Yara.
take the damage for now. I don't want him to be able to attack in with Ferja. Alright, well he comes back here a little bit. Staying in the game at least. Fortunately we couldn't get Valley off the Moloch there. I should have put the AR there, but... Alright, well, flip that. That's fine, we'll get some value off the mullet now. Okay, playing this a little slow here. Wow, had I attacked in with the tracker, he would have been dead off the Yara, but... beast or a rat here.
All right, so Yara again finishing off the game. So maybe as a little bit passive there. Hey, and we hit Mythic finally. I was hoping to get Mythic eventually, and we finally got it. So I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't know how many more wins we needed, but glad to get that Mythic. It's been a very elusive. So finally in the Mythic ranks here. We'll see if that makes any difference in pairings. But usually in Mythic, you still get paired with Diamonds and um, Platinum. So see how it goes. All right, we go first. We'll keep this. Kind of sucks. We've got tokens, so we can't unseal anything, but... Decent enough hand on the play here. Wow, we are number 268 as well. Alright, we're playing Rothgar 13. Not sure what that means. And red black here. Okay, he follows up with his own gift of completion. Nothing we can play in our hand here, so we're just gonna beat him here. Like I said, I wish we had some decent creature to play with in the ceiling crop list. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and play that now. played IR but not really doing anything we don't have anything in the graveyard either so might as well get this out he doesn't have any um okay it's not bad he can't ruin block he can block the 3-3 which is fine but go ahead and swing out here Get a survey, which is nice. Um, rat. Do we want the rat? I guess. Probably. A decent blocker. And it's an extra two damage from my Yara. Even though we can't cast both next turn. But we can play. We can bump this up into a creature. Play a Yara. Swing in. It looks like he's just going to incubate here, probably. Yeah, I guess this actually wasn't the greatest trade, but I think we have to keep the pressure on. Kill a yard here, he's pretty screwed. And we'll get rid of a rat, that's fine. Do this now so we can get Yara and the rat. Do 
You can't kill that Yara again, that's just game. I don't think Black Red has any life gain. Yep, that's game, there we go. Go so number 268, how much are we going to go down? 201, wow, we went down 67 spots there, so we are hitting in Mythic. So this is a new territory for me, I've always been, uh, I think, Diamond League at best, so... Nice to be in the Mythic League. I don't know how it works if your ranking keeps going up um, as other players do better as well, so not really sure. I think that's how it works. So I might be 201 tonight. Could be much higher than that tomorrow. If one goes first, we'll keep... Uh, we've got the Thespian for survey, which is not bad. And we've got an agent. Okay. I think we're probably playing the blue invoke. We'll get the Thespian out. We want a new land here. Not the ideal land, but we'll take it. And we got the Timberland Ancient as well. Okay, that's unfortunate. Andy flips that. I guess he couldn't have killed this by creating tokens, but... Wow, another one? Alright, so new gameplay is... Hold out and try and get our invasion down and wipe the board. I don't even mind if he attacks the invasions, he can have it. If I get a Yara down as well, he's got a legendary, so if we do draw our board wipe. Just need to hold on a couple turns here and draw it. That's all we need to do. Right, that sucks. Oh, actually, the play might be... Tapland's really screwing us over. I think we just hold up here. I'm playing Unseal and Acropolis, getting back. Two blockers here, but we 
meeting in the mines or something here. I guess he can use the ability here too with the Omen Hawker. More stoked flames. Oh, he's playing black. He's got a Halo Forger too. Watch, we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw the board wipe next turn. We're not gonna have enough land to do it. Guarantee you. And maybe I should have just cycled this. This is the board wipe. Oh, good. Well, good game got run over. My one toughness creature just got destroyed by those stupid invasions. That's unfortunate. Well, when we go back up, uh, we went, we're at 201, so we went down quite a bit. That's not good. Gotta get our wins back. I wonder if you keep losing a mythic, how far you go down. Like, I've seen like a thousand something mythics. So, we'll see here. Alright, on to our next match. We're 302 here, so I'm playing last night, and now it's the next day. So I did go down a few ranks, it looks like. Um, we go first here, we'll go ahead and keep. Um, two lands, a little bit risky sometimes, but we got two two drops. Hopefully we find a land here. Two drops and a Yara. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, and we do not hit. Okay, that sucks. Hmm. I think we just hold up. No point getting AR out. And if he gets counters on this, I don't want to kill it. If he's got any kind of backup or anything like that. Um, I want to stoke the flames that. I think we just hold up here. Could play the rod out, but... Artifact or creature, so it puts an additional one on there, it looks like. Probably looking to just go with the invasion. We need another swamp here. Um, actually, we can't even get AR out. We don't have double black. So this hand was not great, but... Uh, get the rat out. I think we want to use it for final flourish.
Okay, that's fine. Hopefully he just tries to flip this now, and we'll go ahead and final flourish it. Goes for me inside the invasion, so that's okay. I think IR plus tracker here is nice. Uh, because as long as he doesn't have legendary creatures, we can uh, board wipe everything and leave IR out. Could flip and get rid of his last card here. An invasion of Ikoria. Actually, shoot, I guess we're just dead here. This is gonna double, that's 12. Oops, that was stupid on my part. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for early morning play. Oh well. Should have won that one. Well, we went five wins there. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad on my part. Just punted that game away. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed these videos. And uh, we'll see how I do the next one.